on to the ASUN Championship. And the Gamecocks win the tip. There's a great atmosphere on Thursday night here inside the peak. Looking to be so again. Kane Henry misses the first shot of the game, but the Gamecocks will get it right back after the goes off the foot of Jacksonville. Kane really didn't have much choice but to take that shot they laid off of him so much. He's not a bad three-point shooter, about 35% from three this year. Gamecocks got it back, though, with it being knocked out of bounds by Nolan. Inside to Huffman, and he loses it. If you follow the A-Sun tournament so far, you know about the effort from Brandon Huffman and his backup. Arose Zella snack the other night. They both scored 14 points as JSU won the game in the paint, outscoring Kennesaw 48-12 in the paint. That 14 was a career high for Zelly. A very solid game for Brandon Huffman as well. Nolan has it, gets it inside to Osifo and back out to Nolan to start it over. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Nolan throws it away. This is how Jacksonville likes to play, though. Half-court game, get after you defensively. Kane Henry left wide open again. He's 0 for 2. I don't think that'll slow him down any. Well, they're obviously daring him to shoot, and they're taking away Darian Adams, which is what Kennesaw did the other night. They really tried to keep the ball out of Darian's hands, and we see the, the Owls taking the same approach here early against JSU's first-team All-Sun player. Osifo going to work on Henry, misses his shot. Huffman pulls it off the glass. And here comes Jalen Finch in the Gamecock offense. And the backcourt violation will be the call. And already early on, we're almost two minutes in. No one has scored. Now, this may sound odd, but I think Jacksonville's okay with what's happened the first two minutes because this is how they like the tone of the game to develop. Yep. Jacksonville State, they don't want to do this. They want to get out, push the ball, and get points going. So, so far, I would say the tempo favors the visitors from Jacksonville. Whistle underneath and an offensive foul called against the Dolphins. First foul of the game as they get Osiah Sifo. Here we see the replay. Sifo ducking that left shoulder and running into Kane Henry. You mentioned the crowd. Boy, it's a, it was electric in here the other night with Kennesaw State inside the Pete. It's the same atmosphere here tonight. Gamecocks getting to host all the home games in the A-Sun tournament and the crowd really turning out in support of the Gamecocks again here tonight. Nolan spots up three, two guys on him and he drains it. The lead for the Dolphins as we get going here. Finch steps in, jumper knocks it down. Gamecocks are on the board. They really laid off Jalen that time and took away his penetration, which he's so good at. He's very quick in the lane, good at getting to the basket. That time, Nolan just dropped way off, dared him to shoot. And Finch knocked down the mid-range jumper. Dolphins work it around, it's tipped away, and it ends up with the Gamecocks. Finch drives, kicks it to Adams, three, up, oh, good. That is the best look Darian has gotten since the tournament started. Kennesaw State didn't give him an open shot in the first half. He finally got some looks in the second half. So a very good sign for Jacksonville State's offense to get Darian off early. 
Jordan Davis drives in, gets the bucket. Quick transition down for Jacksonville State. Adams to Gibbs, long three up, missed. And Workman brings it off the glass. Jalen Gibbs really struggled offensively the other night. Didn't provide much in way of points. Played a good defensive game. JSU would love to see Jalen, in terms of tempo and pace, is probably the team that's going to advance to the ASUN tournament championship game. Gibbs grabs it off the miss. Moore Workman had a great game against Central Arkansas. Redshirt Jr. had 21 points in that win. What a boost off the bench when you yes. can get that kind of production. Tipped away by Jacksonville. And it ends in two points for Jordan Davis. He's now got four points on the afternoon. Very poor pass there by Gibbs. Basically just handed the Dolphins a layup that time. Into Purdue. He's looking for somewhere to go, and he'll get it out to Jalen Gibbs. Back to Purdue. Turn around, jumper. Through. That's a part of Jawan's game that is really beginning to evolve. Just squaring up, facing the basket, and showing nice touch from the mid-range. Jawan pretty much delivers great defense, tough play down low, good rebounding, and if he can, as a young player, if he can develop more on his offensive game, be a big part of this program going forward. Workman puts one up and in. Talked to JSU assistant Tommy Way before the game, and he was raving about the game that Workman had. No pun intended, a very Workman-like performance in the win over Central Arkansas, which is a very good team out of the A-Sun. Into Zellisnack, he had a career high night on Thursday. He goes up, misses the shot. Pulled down by Mike Marsh. Good job by the Dolphins getting the rebound, limiting Jacksonville State to just one shot attempt. And come down and get in the half court. That is their game. Three on the way. Missed by Tyrese Davis. Cox work it around. Gibbs takes it to the hole. He's fouled. They'll get Workman. Check that. They'll get Tyrese Davis. Damari King checks into the game for Jacksonville State. Here's a look at Gibbs putting it on the floor as the shot clock went under 10, and Jalen beat his initial defender, then had to deal with Bryce Workman standing in the paint, but he did draw the foul against Workman. Another poor pass, another turnover by Jacksonville State. Already four turnovers here in the game. Nolan inside. And it's finished by Osayo Sifo. Now a five-point lead for Jacksonville. Two turnovers resulting in four points for the Dolphins. Gamecocks need to take care of the ball, especially early against this team. Inside the Zelly snack. They knock it away, but the foul is whistled. As they get uh, Osifo with the foul. And that's a that's a big foul there because Osifo is going to have to come out of the game. He had just checked back in. He's going to have to go out now because that is his second foul. That brings Mike Marsh in. By the way, we mentioned Workman's 21 against Central Arkansas. How about Mike Marsh the other night? 18 points, a career high. So top two scorers in that win over Central Arkansas came off the bench for Coach Mincy. Adams misses the three. 
Gamecocks really struggled with a three ball and the win over Kennesaw State. He only attempted 13 as Kennesaw State was determined to take away the three point shot. Gamecocks only made two of those, so 16% three point shooting in that game. Jackson State had to win it by going inside to Zella Snack and Huffman. Gamecocks hope to shoot the three ball a little better tonight. Mike Marsh finds, gets two rebounds for Jacksonville as they'll start things over. You mentioned this team loves to rebound, Chase. They're 11th nationally in rebounding margin, which fits right into their preference to keep the game in the half court and control the game by controlling the boards, which they are doing. They've doubled up the Gamecocks so far, eight to four rebounds in the game. Deossi Powell had the bucket for Jacksonville. Inch to Adams. Adams turns around, has it partially blocked. That was great defense. And then look at Nolan just slowly bring the ball up the court and get into the half court. That's controlling to four so far in the game. This is Marsh's first time to the free throw line tonight. for two. It's his first point of the game. Gamecocks trying to get something going offensively as Jacksonville's defense has been working hard so far. Finch drives, jumper, good. They needed that. It was a almost a four-minute scoring drought for the Gamecocks. Yeah, Jacksonville State had not scored in several minutes, so Jalen Finch taking it upon himself, putting the ball on the floor, scoring from mid-range for the second time. And Huffman pins it against the backboard. And an offensive foul whistled against Bryce Workman. And that is the second offensive foul drawn by Kane Henry. You may remember earlier in the game, Osifo's first foul was taken by Kane, and there Workman draws his first fouls. We see the block first by Huffman, just tremendous defense there. Brandon going straight up, not making contact with the body. And here's a look at Jalen's basket a moment ago, driving Jordan Davis backwards and then scoring his second bucket of the game. Kane Henry knocks it down this time. He's tried, and he hits one. Kane turned 23 this past Monday. You know the old saying, it's hard to beat a team twice in a season. Well, this is, you know, these two teams only met once in the regular season. We've mentioned JSU won that game here. But Jacksonville with a lot of fight here early in this one, off to a very good start in the rematch. Davis kicks it in the corner. Three off. And they'll get Workman with another foul, this time over the back. And that will be foul number two. Let's look at the way Kane Henry has affected this game so far. He has the three-pointer, but that's not the biggest contribution Kane Henry has made. He has drawn two offensive fouls, and here he draws the second foul on Workman. So now you have Workman and Osifo, two key post players for Jacksonville both with two fouls, which will limit their time, if not totally keep them on the bench for the rest of the first half. Now can Jacksonville State take advantage? Two Dolphins in the penalty box. <laughs> Stolen away on the pass down to Huffman. Third errant pass that ended in a turnover. Yeah, some poor passing here in this first half for Jacksonville State. Very uncharacteristic of the Gamecocks. Jumper from the free throw line in for Mike Marsh. Marsh needs to step up. He had the big game against Central Arkansas, so he's very capable of providing that low post presence 
that Jacksonville needs while Osifo is on the bench with two fouls as his workman. King shot fake, kicks it to Finch. He puts up the three, misses, and Kane Henry gets it back. An incredible rebound by Kane Henry. Darian Adams with a long three. Off. Adams one for three from behind the three line. Again, another guy who's going to keep trying, and he will hit them. Yeah, Darian Adams has to keep shooting. He is that important to this Jacksonville State offense. Nolan missed the deep three. And he, hey, he's in his range there. We saw it, Chase, you and I, been, being from this area, calling his high school games. So he's got that kind of range, no question about it. Adams drives it to the hole this time, misses it off the glass. Darian pleading for a foul, did not get the call from the official. Inside, shot up and in for Rod Brown, his first points of the game. Busted defense there, Kane Henry came out a little bit too far and allowed his, the man he was guarding to get behind him for the easy basket. Finch into Huffman. Another turnover on an errant pass. Six turnovers. And my recollection is four of them have just been very, very bad decisions passing the basketball. Brown to Nolan. Nolan drives this time. Jumper short corner off. Bench to Huffman on the move this time. Underneath, up, no, not there. Kane Henry puts it back up and in for two. Fourth rebound of the game for Kane Henry, second offensive rebound, and nice put back for Henry, who now has five points, cut the lead back to five. But the pace of this game still very much favors Jacksonville. We are in a half-court game, no doubt about it. Six seconds on the shot clock. Step back three. And Finch pulls it down. Good defense that time by Jacksonville State. You got to play this team all the way to the end of the shot clock, and that's what the Gamecocks did that time. Henry tries again. And Jacksonville will have the ball. And again, they've got control of this game. Jacksonville State only 14 points with five and a half minutes to go in the first half. We obviously have a long way to go, but so far so good for the Dolphins. The game is playing out exactly how they would have liked to have drawn it up. Another three missed though, but another foul whistle this time against Marsh. And his coach can't believe it. Coach Mincy was upset because the official that made the call was furthest away. And obviously there was, it was a late call, no question about it, but the official that blew the whistle was probably giving the other officials a chance to make the call. But King, long three, missed. Zelisnak finishes. follow there and that got the crowd into it. They remember the game Zellisnack had the other night, a career high 14 in the win against Kennesaw State. Mike Marsh puts one up, can't finish. It'll end back up with Jacksonville. Again, the Dolphins with another offensive rebound. Kind of disheartening within the steal by Finch. Finch all alone, puts it in. 
just like that, we got a one-point game. Jalen Finch is having a very good first half. Gamecocks are struggling to score. Jalen Finch has got a third of their points. Six of JSU's 18 points from the junior guard from Raleigh, North Carolina. Didn't just score that time, he got the fans out of their seat. Powell misses, Gamecocks get it. Finch pulls back, misses the three. Jacksonville laying off Finch that time. Don't fault Finch for taking that because he obviously felt good about the shot. Just missed it short. Had he made it, Gamecocks would have had the lead back. You know, Jalen just didn't take that down and score, Chase. He dunked it for yeah. effect. That really got the crowd going. It sure did. Finch will walk it up now. King in the corner to Gibbs. Three off. Zelly Snack gets the rebound, but it's taken away by Gassi Powell. Good hands by Powell. Zelly Snack had the offensive rebound. Powell just swiped it from him. Got the possession back for the Dolphins. But they turn it back over. To the A-Sun Championship, Chase Robinson alongside Mickey Shatterix here tonight as Incox will have the ball. Darian Animals will bring it up. Mentioned JSU had gone four minutes without scoring a few moments ago. Now, now the Gamecocks are on a 6-0 run, and Jacksonville has missed their last six shots. Just to tell you, this game has already shown it's a game of runs as the Dolphins now sitting back in a zone here out of the timeout. Adams drives, puts it up, misses. And then they're going to get Damari King with a foul up the court. missing the opportunity to take the lead on that turnover then Damari King coming down and reaching in against Kevion Nolan and picking up his first foul. I tell you with both teams playing in the half court and milking that shot clock Chase it just seems like we just started we're already down to two minutes to play here in the first half. Nolan pops it and drops it in. Plays with such confidence, even as a high school player, started as an eighth grader in high school, just plays with supreme confidence. And you know he feels very comfortable coming back into this building where he's played so many big games as a high school player. Damari King misses the three. And the foul whistled now against Zelly Snap. Got to talk to Kevion before the game in pregame warmups because we've watched him play for so many years and he was just very pumped at another opportunity to come in here and beat Jacksonville State obviously with so much on the line as we see the the hip check there by Zellisnack, his first foul of the game. Gibbs is a very good defender. You can see staying right with Nolan. No switch on him as they go over the screen. They cannot afford that with Kevion Nolan. You give him any daylight at all, and he can make you pay. So the defensive strategy there paying off for the Gamecocks. Gamecocks get it back. You'd rather have Nolan driving in for two than shooting yeah. an open three. That's just the bottom line. You're right about that. King to Finch. And there's going to be a foul underneath. Very aggressive play underneath by Mike Marsh. Has been all night. They call it this time. Yeah, he got his arm around Zelly. We'll see it right here. So this is the third post player that now is, has two fouls in the game. And that's going to force Coach Mincy to send Osayo Sifo back in the game with two fouls and get Marsh out of there with his two fouls with 119 to play. So Coach Missy's just hoping that he can get Marsh, Osifo, and Workman to the locker room with no more fouls. And he'll feel pretty good about where he sits going yep. into halftime. Yep. 
Hits nothing, so that's a dead ball. For the first time tonight, we see Coach Harper employing some full court pressure. I think we'll see more of this in the second half. Nolan throws it over to Osifo. He's going to work against Sally Snack. Fades away, misses. Game Conks get it. Big possession here for Jacksonville State. If they could pull closer with under a minute to play here in the first half. Adams three off. And a foul underneath. I believe they'll get Zelly Snack. They will. That's two back-to-back -back fouls. With under a minute to go here in the half. See if we can tell what happened. They. I'm not sure if it occurred before we our camera got Zella Snack and Osifo into into view there, but official obviously seeing Zelly do something, so he goes to the bench now with two fouls. Jawan Purdue will come in for him. The drive, the layup, missed. Put back falls. Maxwell State. Finch is going to hold it out. Cox can't run the entire clock out, but it's about a five-second differential. Gibbs pops the three. It hits nothing and goes out. Another tough night for Gibbs. 0 for 4 in this game. And didn't get much going offensively the other night against Kennesaw State. So now it's Jacksonville that has a chance to add to their five-point lead with time to get the ball up the floor and get another shot off with 9.2. Kayla Bird, a 6'1 freshman, will come into the game. Three freshmen for the Gamecocks. Steps out of bounds. Jordan Davis does. And Burr did exactly what Coach Harper put him in the game for. He's a very quick player, great defender. His job that time was to harass the man with the ball, force him to use up time dribbling it up the court, and that is exactly what Burr did. And then it added a little icing on the cake. He wound up forcing the turnover with the step out of bounds. So Jacksonville State now with a chance for one more shot. Nice job there by Caleb Bird. 3.5 seconds. Finch takes it to one. He shoots it from the state. Has had very little of that in the first half. It's been pretty much a half court game. Jacksonville has won the rebounding battle as well. They out, -re out rebounded Jacksonville State 21 to 15 in that first half. So they controlled the boards and they controlled the tempo. And Jalen Gibbs gets a steal to start the half and two points for the Gamecocks. What a way to start the first half. So maybe that'll get Jalen going too. That's his first made basket in the game. And Jordan Davis steps out of bounds. That'll give the Gamecocks the ball back. Two turnovers right off the bat here in half number two for the Dolphins. Yeah, nice little start to the second half. There you see Jalen with a nice defensive play from behind and then going up and hitting the shot over Davis. And then Jacksonville stepping out of bounds. So Jacksonville State with a chance to pull closer, possibly tie with a three. Kane Henry drives and gets the dunk. Back to a one point game. Kane showing his tremendous athleticism on that play. Did not shoot a three that time. Put it on the floor and was determined to get to the basket. Nolan looking for an open shot. Passes it over to Davis. Misses the three. Huffman with the board. So two turnovers and a missed three is how the second half starts for the Dolphins.
Gibbs to Huffman, jumper, nope. Adams can't finish, but he's fouled. And I think they may have just gotten Osifo. We'll see who they call it against. And it is, Osifo just picked up his third foul as Darian did a good job of competing for the offensive rebound, getting in front of Osifo who pushed Darian from behind. And here's a look at the Kane Henry play as Osifo caught looking that time. Kane went right by him. And then here's the foul. You see Darian get in there and Osifo from behind. Adams can take the lead for the Gamecocks with this free throw. And he does. Been a long time since Jacksonville State has led in this game. They led five to three back with about three and a half minutes in. Nice little run to begin the second half. Nolan misses, Adams gets it to Gibbs. Gibbs goes up, Zelly Snack finishes. This is the tempo Jacksonville State has been wanting to play at. They finally get one right now. They now lead by three. Just two minutes into the second half. And Chase, I don't know what was said in the locker room at halftime by Coach Harper. I don't know what shape the paint on the walls is in, but something tells me that something was said that kind of woke this team up. And I saw the same fire in Coach Mincy during that timeout in the huddle with his Dolphin team. He had them out on the court, huddled closely together during that timeout because he obviously is not happy with the way the momentum has swung to the home team here to, to begin the second half. Henry thought about the three but drives in, misses it. And he'll get back up the court quickly. As Mike Marsh puts it in for two for the Dolphins back to a one point game. Now the Dolphins can settle down now. They've gotten on the scoreboard here in the second half. And nice look inside and the finish by Marsh. And Cox work it. Henry loses it. Turnover. Gamecocks, number eight today. Gamecocks started the game with a flurry of turnovers. If you recall, they had about four errant passes that in, resulted in some easy baskets for Jacksonville. Then the turnovers kind of stopped as the second half wore on. As you mentioned, up to eight right now. Jacksonville with 11 turnovers in the game. Davis has his shot blocked. Here come the Gamecocks. Adams spots up, three, knocks it down. And that gets the crowd back on their feet as the Gamecocks lead by four. Darian is really accurate when he steps into the three, especially in transition. He had one of those in the game against Kennesaw State. Knocked that transition three down. Kane Henry picks up the blocking foul. Damari King will check in the game. Tyrese Davis inbounds it into Jordan Davis. Inside to Marsh, four seconds on the shot clock. He goes up, ball Jacksonville 11 to two in just the three minutes and 14 seconds that we've played here in the second half. Incredible run to begin the second half for Jacksonville State. Really gotten this crowd into it for the, really for the first time tonight. Zone defense here by the Dolphins. Purdue, jumper, 
off. And missed a wide open Damari King on the left wing, and he knew it too right after he shot it. I guess he caught him in his peripheral and looked over at Damari and said, my bad. It was a good shot by Purdue, but a wide open three for Damari King is a great shot. Marsh going to work against Zelly Snack. Can't get it done. Down low to Purdue, reverse, up and in. I tell you, there is nothing easy in this game. Both of these teams so big, strong, physical, playing so hard, especially here in the second half with what's on the line. You saw Jawan Purdue make that basket, then hit the deck, and then what a big three there by Jordan Davis. Only the second made three of the game for Jacksonville. That cuts it. Down to a three-point game. Adams spots up for the three. He misses it. Nolan down to Workman. Workman goes up. He can't finish. That was a nice defense by a combination of Zelisnak and Purdue. He had to have a help situation there, and both players able to recover and get back in position and not give up an easy layup. Damari King. Out to Finch, who spots up for the three. He misses it. Gamecocks get it back. King, jumper, good. Great shot by Damari King. Pump fake, got Nolan to go behind him. And then still had to kind of have eyes in the back of his head to be aware that Nolan was there to possibly block his shot, got the mid-range jumper away, and got it to stay in. Nolan goes up, gets the bucket. Nice penetration there by Kevion Nolan to answer. Continue trade punches here in the second half. These two heavyweights going at it with a lot on the line here tonight inside the peak. Damari King now holds the single season record with three pointers for Jacksonville State Gamecocks at 83 made this season. Tyrese Davis drains a three that time, keeps it at a three point game. And a huge non call on Marsh, who Coach Harper thought pushed off with his arm. Had they made that call, that three doesn't happen. So that was a big non call, if you will, there going the way of Jacksonville. Purdue drives in, goes up, can't finish. Ball goes out, and it'll head towards Jacksonville. Huffman back in for the Gamecocks, as well as Kane Henry. Here's a look at the three ball by Damari King, Jacksonville State has not shot the three well in this tournament so far. Only two of 13 in their quarterfinal win over Kennesaw State on Thursday. And here tonight in the semis, they're four of 20. 20% 20 from three. And this is a team that shot almost 40% from three. One of the top three-point shooting teams in the nation in the regular season. Struggling here in the tournament. Workman goes up, can't get it. Ball goes out, stays with Jacksonville. Tell you, both teams just competing so hard. The energy being put forth, especially in the rebounding department. At that time, Kane Henry, just tough luck, couldn't control it. You see Kane competing for it, he and Jalen Finch. Nolan misses the three. Osifo was there to get the rebound. Gets it down low to Osifo and turns it over. <laughs> Nolan steps back, jumper through. And he hit that shot with Jalen Gibbs' hand literally right in his face. Couldn't play any better defense than Gibbs did that time. Just credit Kevion Nolan. Oh, 
another zone look here out of the timeout. Something Coach Mincy has done several times tonight. And they're going to get a foul against Powell. That's one foul that Powell's coaches won't mind. Matter of fact, they're applauding him because that's just two guys going for the ball. You see, they're just competing there and incidental contact as Powell did make contact with King, but just simply going for the ball. Huffman will come check in. Adams cross court to Gibbs. Adams corner three off. Mm. That is a shot that Darian Adams normally makes. Good look from behind the three point line just off the back of the rim. Nolan, Nolan hits Workman, but taken away by JSU. Nice hustle by Darian. Coming up with a steal. Henry, jumper up and in. Back to a three-point lead for Jacksonville State. Henry now nine points in the game, four of ten shooting. Kane Henry, as we mentioned, celebrated a birthday on Monday, the senior from, from London. Having a nice game here tonight. Workman going against Huffman. And no points as Adams pulls it off the glass. Henry thought about a three. Yes, he did. <laughs> Into Huffman. Brandon. Workman plays tough down there. Yeah, Brandon a little too far from the basket. And there's going to be... An offensive foul on Darian Adams. Well, that is a tough, tough call against Darian Adams. Let's get another look at it here. No question, Workman was stationary. Darian left his feet, made contact. Good call by the official. Tough break, though, for the Gamecocks because Darian made the shot, but it will not count. That's just the first foul against Darian. Jacksonville brings it up. It's Powell this time. Nolan down to Workman for two. Nice play there. Nolan with the assist. Jacksonville staying step for step with the Gamecocks here. They took that big haymaker there to start the second half. Jacksonville stayed outscoring the Dolphins 11 to 2, but it is now just seesawing back and forth. Zelly snack with a big rebound. Huge rebound. King three knocks it down. Damari King. Two big threes in this second half. He was very quiet in that 18-point first half. Some big clutch shooting here by King. Inside to Workman. He's going to work against Zellisnack. Can't get it. Henry pulls it off the glass. Nice box out by Kane Henry. Securing that rebound. Fifth rebound of the game for Kane. Seven seconds on the shot clock. King down to Henry. Henry goes up, misses it. It resets. It was called as time was expiring on the shot clock into a 
What a jump ball. Damari King slips to the floor and loses the ball. It's a tough break there for King and Jacksonville State. Nolan takes it to the hoop and Zellisnack gets a block. Gamecocks get it back thanks to the defense by Zelly. And then they'll get a foul on Tyrese Davis reaching in for the ball. Davis, 6'6", six, six, big strong guy is really trying to smother Darian on this, on that possession. There you see the, the ball careening off of Davis into the hands of Gibbs. Jackson will stay with possession. Five seconds on the shot clock and there'll be a foul. Whistled against Jordan Davis. Yeah, King hit the deck again. This time it wasn't perspiration on the floor. It was the foot of Jordan Davis. You'll see it right there. Davis trying to fight over the screen, make contact with King's left foot. Boy, JSU would love to give King another look the way he's shooting that three ball right now. But a wild pass by Darian Adams. He thought King was going to yeah. finish that cut to the basket. It's like a receiver stopping his pattern. Dolphins get it back. Davis drives. Down to Marsh. Marsh is fouled by Zellisnack. Mm. Two birds are out over that call. Just get a look at it here. Yes, they say Zellisnack leaning into Marsh too much on that play. It has been a physical game down low. We'll see if those type calls continue to be made here down the home stretch. Jacksonville now three for five from the free throw line. Zelly with the three fouls is going to come out, and Brandon Huffman back in. Marsh misses the second. Jacksonville gets it back. Rarely do you see Kane Henry get out maneuvered for a rebound, but he did that time. Nice work by Tyrese Davis to get the possession back for the Dolphins. Long three from Nolan through. Ties it up at 41. Big shot by Nolan. His own little personal cheering section right behind the Jacksonville bench. You can't imagine Nolan being from right down the road in Anniston. Got a lot of family and friends here in the arena tonight cheering him on, and they came out of their seats on that three by Kevion. Six seconds on the shot clock. Finch is stuck. It'll be a long three from Kane Henry. He misses it. Poor possession there for Jacksonville State. Good defense by the Dolphins as they have a chance now to reclaim the lead. Workman goes to work. He misses it. Henry from the top of the key, knocks it down. No hesitation at all from Kane Henry. Big three to give the Gamecocks the lead again by three. Kane Henry with 12 points.
In the corner, three off. Adams gets it. Four fifteen to go in the game. Henry tries again, misses. Nolan from the corner. Off the iron and Finch gets it. And Finch fell asleep. Nolan right behind him took it from him. Somebody's got to help Jalen out there. Huge miscue by the Gamecocks. Down low. Nope. Did a great job defending the three-point shot by Nolan. Forced him to put a lot of air under it. He missed it. But Nolan kind of crept up behind Finch who didn't know Nolan was still back there. And hence that gave Marsh the opportunity to score at the free throw line to cut into the JSU three-point lead. We are headed to a photo finish, no question. We sure are. As it's now a one-point game. Finch will hold it up top for the Gamecocks. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Into Henry. Henry to Finch to Gibbs in the corner. Three up, off. Davis with a rebound. Gibbs 0 for 4 from 3. Unable to make any 3 so far in the tournament after shooting 40% from 3 during the regular season. And a turnover by Jacksonville. Gives Finch the ball, he brings it up. Finch drives in, puts it up. He can't finish, but gets it back. Zellesnack kept that alive with the tip to Finch. So credit Zelly with the play there to save the possession. Into Henry, back to Gibbs. Four on the shot clock. Adams drives, goes up, misses, and a shot clock violation against the Gamecocks. Just great defense by the Dolphins that time. And now they get it back with a chance to get the lead. Each team. I tell you, valuing every possession. We had under two to play in the regulation of this game. Nolan spots up, he's fouled. So they get Gibbs with a foul. Kevion Nolan goes to the free throw line. Crowd moaning over the replay there being shown inside Pete Matthews Coliseum. Coach Harper pointing up to the video board. He's questioning how much contact really occurred on the play. Nonetheless, Kevion Nolan just tied the game with a free throw. 44 apiece. Jacksonville now has a lead. Minute 42 to go. The crowd's on their feet. Finch drives, kicks it to Adams. Stolen away by Jacksonville. And he's fouled. Kane Henry getting tripped up. Commits the foul. Mm -hmm. 
Also a mistake here, the bad pass. And then Davis electing to hold it out as his coaches were telling him to back it out. And then runs right into Kane Henry who draws his second foul. So Jacksonville will inbound it right in front of their bench. And Nolan takes the inbound. And he pops the three and knocks it down. Now the four point lead for Jacksonville, 112 left. And then turn up the defense. Finch has it, 110 left. Finch drives, looking for somewhere to go to Damari King. Gibbs drives in, he's fouled, and he'll go to the line for two. Shot clock was winding down. Finch had to do something. There you see the hack by Jordan Davis. And that'll put a very good free throw shooter at the line. And these are, these are must make free throws. As Gibbs misses the first. He hits the second, makes it a three-point game. 53.2 left. Tyrese Davis gets it across, and they're going to get a foul. And we'll go to the line for the one-and-one one now. Darian Adams gets the foul. That's his second. Good look ahead by Nolan. Getting it to an open Davis, getting it across half court, which was the first step. JSU only one of two in the line a moment ago. Davis with a chance to improve the Dolphins' chances if he can knock these down. And he hits the first. It's both five point lead now, 46.9 to go. See if the Gamecocks can make it happen. Adams drives in, lays it up for Gamecocks in the full court press. And it's tipped out of bounds, but off of the Gamecocks. Tremendous effort by Jawan Purdue to get his hands on it, but he just could not maintain his footing. Pass was just too high. They'll get the floor wiped up here. Osio Sifo checks into the game for Jacksonville State. Marsh will have a seat. Jacksonville to inbound, Tyrese Davis. This will inbound now for the Dolphins. Tipped out by Gibbs. out again off the Gamecocks. Jacksonville State's defense making it tough for them to get the ball in. Incredible effort. I'll tell you what, the regular season champs are not going to go down without a fight, that's for sure. They're contesting every inbound. And again, Jacksonville does have one timeout remaining. 
You know that Coach Missy would love to get it in the hands of Kevion Nolan. A 91% free throw shooter. But Jalen Gibbs takes him away, and so they will have to foul Workman on the inbound. And Purdue will commit the foul. Workman, who is one for two from the free throw line today, will go to the line. He's a 68% free throw shooter on the season. the noise and he hits the front end big free throw by workman calmly knocking it down makes it a two possession game five point lead now for Jacksonville. Workman will go have a seat. Finch will now bring it up for Gamecocks. Hands it to Keene. To Gibbs underneath, he goes up for two. Cox with no timeouts. They've got to foul quickly or get a turnover. Ball goes out. Gets it into Nolan. Ball goes out. King Cox get it. I don't think there's any question about that one. And again, Jackson will take no timeout, so they've got to set up and be ready to go. Coach Mincy bringing in some substitutes. Now you see Nolan just unable to control it. Just tremendous defensive effort here by Jacksonville State in these last few sequences. Been tough to get the ball inbound against the Gamecocks. Finch gets it into Keene to Adams and a foul. And they'll get uh, Jordan Davis with a foul. Good call there by the Jacksonville bench to get the quick foul to take the three off the table. There you see him grab Darian. That's just six fouls. 15 seconds to go. Finch has got to get it in. He gets it into King. Down to Henry. Henry turns around and slams it. Now to a one-point game. Gamecocks take the two. Still leaves them a point behind with 8.9, and Jacksonville is going to great, great semifinal game. Nolan takes the inbound, and he's found. Gamecocks led about four, three, three, at least three seconds go off the clock before they foul Nolan. I know you don't want to put a 91% free throw shooter at the line, but once Nolan got possession of the ball, you had no choice. team with a timeout. Nolan knocks down the first. Makes it a two-point game. What a game for the local product, Kevion Nolan. Back in his hometown. 18 points looking for point number 19. And he gets it. Five seconds to go. Down by three. And the Gamecocks get one off. He's got to throw it up. And Jacksonville 